Navas researchers often find the concept of reliability and validity somewhat confusing. Let me clarify this for you. Reliability and validity are two different attributes related to a measure. For example, let us consider a scenario where there are four people, and they are required to fire bullets at the center of the dart board. The goal of this task is to fire all the bullets towards the center of the dart board. The first person fires all his bullets and it is observed that all his bullets hit at some distance from the center. We can see that the firing consistency for this person is high but the firing accuracy is low. This scenario is analogous to a reliable but invalid measure. The second person fires all his bullets and it is observed that all his bullets hit uniformly around the center. We can see that the firing consistency for this person is low but on an average, the firing accuracy is high. This scenario is analogous to a valid but unreliable measure. The third person fires all his bullets and it is observed that all his bullets hit randomly anywhere on the dart board. We can see that the firing consistency and firing accuracy for this person is low. This scenario is analogous to an invalid and an unreliable measure. The fourth person fires all his bullets and it is observed that all his bullets hit exactly at the center. We can see that the firing consistency and the firing accuracy for this person are high. This scenario is analogous to a valid and reliable measure. Let us consider another example to understand more about the concept of reliability and validity. Consider yourself walking down the street, where you find the waiting machine. You want to cross-check your weight because your physician told you this morning that your weight was 180 pounds and you need to reduce your weight. You get on the waiting machine and it shows you that you weigh 220 pounds. You don't believe the machine and decide to weigh again. Again. The machine shows you that you weigh 220 pounds. You still don't agree with the machine, but you decide to weigh again for the last time. Still, the machine shows that you weigh 220 pounds. We can surely say that the machine is not accurate, but we can see that the machine gives almost consistent readings, averaged around 220 pounds. This weighing machine is consistent but not accurate. This scenario is analogous to a reliable but invalid measure. This is end of section 1. I hope you were able to understand some issues related with the validity and reliability of a measure.